Okay. So you've been um, you've been into votes, sir. Uh, how did you get on? I think it's really strange that they insist on photo ID. Uh -huh. I never did for a hundred years. Yeah, it's, it's a relatively new thing, sir, yeah. And then they give you a pencil. Yes. It should be something indelible. <laughs> you can do that and somebody can rub it out. It should be something that they can't be rubbed out. It just it's, seems really peculiar that they sit. It's uh, a fair point. In, fair. in this day and age, do you really think we should be trekking down to Poland places to do it? Can we not? So why can't we do it, like, electronically, you know? If everybody oh. had a number, you know, a one-time number, why well, couldn't you do that? I think we'll bother coming. It's just I don't like the idea of pencil. Yeah, That somebody yeah. can go through them, rub them out, and put it somewhere else. I see you've kept a pencil, though. They insisted. <laughs> <laughs> How do you judge the general mood of the country just now? How do you feel? I actually think there's a lot of disillusionment with politics. Um, and I know a lot of people want to get rid of the Tory government, and so do I. But yeah. the problem is... I'm finding it a real struggle to know who to vote for. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of tired of holding my nose and voting for the least worst option. And today I'm going to spoil my ballot paper for the first time. Yeah, I, and I think that's a valid choice. Um, you know, it, it sends a message. Not Even not voting sends a message. And spoiling your ballot paper probably sends a stronger message. Yeah, I think so. so. I, w I would never not vote because of the fact that, you know, that particularly women had yeah, uh -huh. the universal suffrage. But uh, I, I just can't bring myself to vote for Labour. I just think they're... Uh, 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 well, a red colour version of the Tories. Yeah. Um, I can't vote SNP because I'm, I believe in independence and uh, I think I've totally lost sight of that and I've got no one else, I've got no socialist candidate to vote for, so. Well, okay, no, that's fantastic. Thanks very much for your candor. Cheers, thank you. Cheers. How, do, how did you get on, sir? How do you, um, how do you feel the, the country is just now? Um, well, I voted, um, but I must say it was a difficult vote because I don't feel there's an awful lot of uh, or any of the candidates standing here uh, really reflect my views. Yeah. Um, I think there's been, uh, particularly the Westminster parties, I think the, the Labour Party and the Tory party, you couldn't get a cigarette between the paper between the uh, policies of the two of them. Mm -hmm. um, and I find that the, the whole campaign, they've been disingenuous about what they're offering. Yep. In fact, they're not offering anything really. There's nothing yeah. that, um, that that's specifically going to change things. I think for ordinary people in this country, um, and with the Scottish National Party, I think that they have uh, squandered a huge opportunity in the last decade or so. Um, and I think that there's uh, a disillusionment um, amongst voters and the general public for the Scottish National Party. Although that's who I did vote for tonight. Okay. And do you think it would be fair to say that? These politicians need a good kick up the back. Oh, absolutely! I think they need uh, they need to be more honest. Yeah, um, and I, th I personally think that we need people representing us who are not just honest, but who are in it for the right reasons. There seems yeah. to be an awful lot of people who are in this for themselves, yeah. self self advancement. Yeah, um, and there's an awful lot of what I can only per uh, perceive to be corruption. Yeah. Uh, people, you know, whether it's uh, motorhomes that are being bought, whether it's uh, people getting uh, the, yeah, the, yeah. The, the equipment for uh, protection during the pandemic, whether it's uh, yeah. individuals having parties in Westminster during the pandemic, yep. it's uh, and uh, it's, it's just an awful lot of sleaze, and I think there's a. It seems to be endemic. Yes, it is, and I think across the whole spectrum, yeah. there seems to be. Uh, individuals and, and quite, a, quite a lot of individuals are in that boat yeah. and I think that that's something that people are unhappy about and I, I just get the sense, having spoken to a lot of friends and family, a lot of kind of disillusionment and yeah. people voting, if they do vote, with a heavy heart. Mm -hmm. um, but the main thing being to get rid of this absolutely rotten Conservative government mm -hmm. but with absolutely no illusion in what a, yeah. a, a Keir Starmer-led government is going to do for them. <laughs> okay, I think I think we've covered pretty much everything. <laughs> how do you feel um, about voting today, sir? How's the how's the country doing, and where where do your loyalties lie now? You don't need to tell me, obviously, but you know. Yeah, I think especially as a young person, I think there's a, a bit of a dis disillusionment with where politics lies in general, and when the country just with the way things have been going over the last year or so, the last couple of years, there's definitely like a a rhetoric now that people want to get rid of the Tory government just because of yep. rising costs of living, um, especially with the, the fallout of Brexit as well. Yep. I've actually, 
I was, when I was younger, I was more into politics, but now I don't really yeah. tend to keep up with it. Um, just purely because I don't find yeah. that I, I align with well, most of the political parties on the spectrum, if I'm being perfectly honest. Yeah. Um, but in terms of like, the mood of the country, I think there's definitely a, a pessimistic view in terms of the government that we've, been, yeah. that we've had over the last five to ten years. So we've had some people um, that have come out and they're, they're, some of them have spoiled their ballot, which is a valid choice, you know, because it's a protest vote. Um, some of them are voting tactically. Are you voting with your heart or are you voting with your head? Yeah, probably with my heart, to be honest. Right. Um, I'll be voting first, we always I think's best for myself, the community and yep. and mm-hmm. Scotland ultimately. Right, okay. And uh, Do you want to say who it is or are you, you, hey, you're perfectly entitled to keep it private? I'll keep that one to myself. That's fine. I think I know who you are, but... That's uh, great. Thanks very much.